In honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we are shining a light on the growing problem here in Nevada. According to the American Cancer Society, breast cancer mortality rates are higher in Nevada compared to other parts of the country. And recently, breast cancer hit close to home in our newsroom. And tonight, I share the inspiring story of our KTMV managing editor who caught her own cancer. It is a life-saving story about the critical importance of self-examination and early detection. See this? This is my new tattoo. What is that? It's a permanent tattoo. It's a permanent marker for radiation. Four small tattoos will forever be reminders for Dree de Clamacy of a radiation for breast cancer, a discovery she made herself while showering. And this time, there was something there. And there's never been anything there, ever. And I just felt my heart just sink into my stomach. I knew almost instantly this was not going to be good. Dre immediately went to her OBGYN to get it checked out. The doctor said, I don't feel anything. Are you sure? And I said, no, there's something there. It doesn't belong there. And she said, I think that could be a gland. And I said, mm, I, don't, I don't think that's a gland. Dree's OBGYN told her she knows her body better than anyone and ordered a mammogram and an ultrasound. The mammogram showed something abnormal in both of my breasts and that was terrifying. After getting biopsies, the diagnosis was early stage breast cancer only in her right breast. Being trapped in my body with a killer that was a new one and something I wasn't prepared for. Dre called a close friend who happens to be a stage four cancer survivor who recommended oncologist Dr. Rupesh Parikh at Comprehensive Cancer Centers. Dr. Parikh was impressed with how Dre found her lump through self-exam. His first words to me were, so you found it yourself? You found it yourself? And I said, yes. I found that hitchhiker myself, and we got to get it out of there. So we found the cancer early. Uh, she had her surgery. Um, she had her lumpectomy, so she's going to get some radiation. We know that. Uh, and she gave us a little scare. She had a lymph node that was involved. But after getting test results on this visit... It doesn't show that the cancer is spread anywhere at all, which is amazing. That's what we wanted to see. Dr. Parikh gives Dree the news that she is cancer-free. No chemo. Yes. That is one. <laughs> right? Exactly. We didn't find cancer anywhere else when we scanned her. And her store came back low risk, so she didn't need chemotherapy. So that's what these other tests allow us to do. Even if it goes into a lymph node, she still caught it early enough where it hadn't spread. Low risk. Welcome news, since Dree has lost her only and younger sister, Mary, to breast cancer. I think I was really... Uh, very, very lucky. It was a very early stage. It was stage one. And through gene testing, Dr. Parikh found no sign of the hereditary BRCA gene, which increases your risk of breast cancer. But he did find something else, a variant of uncertain significance. Most of those turn out to be not linked at all, and, and there's nothing to do. So, But, you know, we say, oh, you're a mutant. You know, yeah. <laughs> Well, we knew there was something different about right. her. Yes. Now we know for sure. Right. <laughs> Dr. Parikh says one thing's for sure when it comes to dream. I said, we're going to get you through this. And I told her we were going to be friends for life. And, and we are. You become friends for life with your cancer patients, right? So Absolutely. we're still going to follow her even after her journey's over to make sure it doesn't ever come back. Yeah. Amazing. And Dre is currently receiving six weeks of radiation, and she wants everyone, women and men, to make sure that they are vigilant about self-examination.